Hi guys, welcome to Whipper Royal Holler, and happy Thanksgiving. You know, it's this time of year that we all get busy of cooking and making pies and cakes and getting things ready for our Thanksgiving dinner. And you know, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because you're not worried about Christmas presents or, you know, just all in the rut of having to hurry and stress out. To me, Thanksgiving is about giving thanks for everything the good Lord's give us. To sit around with your family and enjoy everybody's cooking. And that's what I love about it. But today, I'm going to do a different kind of dessert. Now, I always do my pies, and I will do some videos on some of the pies I'll be making. But today, I'm doing a trifle. And there are so many good trifles out there. And I love them, and most people do like them. I mean, it's usually the first thing dessert to go on the <laughs> dessert table is some kind of a trifle. And today, what I'm doing is a pumpkin butterscotch trifle, and it's really going to be good. So I've got the list of ingredients right here, and I'm going to bring you up closer, and I'm going to show you what they are before we get started. This is going to be an easy assembly, because once you get your cake made, all you got to do is layer your trifle. So what I've got here is a, a glass see-through dish. Now you don't have to, but if you want to be able to see your layers on the, you know, on the dessert table, any kind. In fact, I got this. Um, I think I got this at a flea market. I have several, but I'm going to use this one today. And I've got it sitting up on my cake, old cake stand here because I just wanted you to be able to see the layers when I go to layering. Now your first ingredient is going to be easy peasy your spice cake and you're just going to make your cake to the directions on the back and you're going to let it cool then we got we're going to have to have milk 16 ounces of cool whip some ginger pumpkin pie spice a can of pumpkin some cinnamon and four boxes of your instant butterscotch pudding and then a little bag of uh, your toffee bits. And if you don't want to buy the toffee bits, you can put something else on top. You could put just uh, some kind of nuts or just a chopped up chocolate bar or something would be good. But that's all your ingredients. So uh, let's get started on this. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bake the cake. And we all know how to just follow your directions. And when we get that done, we'll come back and uh, we'll do the next step. I've got the cake in the oven, so the next step we're going to make our the pudding part of the trifle. So I'm going to put the 15 ounce can of pumpkin in here. And this is just a great value, organic, 100% pumpkin. It's real good pumpkin. And really and truly, I priced it. It's not much higher than your, than your Libby's just regular pumpkin. And to me, I just like the taste of it better, but that's just up to you. So a 15 ounce can of a pumpkin. I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. And to this pumpkin, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of a pumpkin pie spice. if I can get it open, which is always a chore for me. I don't understand. Just because I don't. There we go. So I'm put half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Whoops. That's more than half a teaspoon. Okay, half a teaspoon. Then I'm going to put a, a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger, powdered ginger. So I've got my pumpkin, my cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and ginger in there. And I'm going to stir this up. And you're thinking, that's just like you're making a pumpkin pie almost. This is going to be delicious. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my four boxes of butterscotch pudding, and I'm going to put it in here with my pumpkin. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it 
Try to start a little bit after each. Each box that I put in there. I love butterscotch. I love butterscotch pie. And I'll have to do a video on homemade butterscotch pie. They're so good. There's the second box. Third box. Go ahead and put the fourth in there. And then I'm going to put three cups of cold milk. And that's almost a bowl full. And I'm just going to stir this up real good. Might have to get my wicks whisk out. Probably will so I can stir this up good. What you're going to do, you're going to get that stirred up real good. And you're going to set it in your, fr your refrigerator while you're getting everything else together. Because once my cake cooks, I'll have to let it cool and then I'm going to break it up in pieces. So there, right there is our pumpkin butterscotch filling right there. That looks delicious. I think I'm going to taste it. Wow, that's really good. That pumpkin, the spices, the butterscotch, it is delicious. Now, if you feel like it's getting a little bit too thick, you can put a little bit more milk in it, and I may do that before I start layering. But it may be at the right consistency. So I'm going to put my pudding, my pie filling in the refrigerator, and uh, my cake gets out of the oven. I'm going to cool it off, crumple it up, and then we'll start our layer. I got my cake out of the oven, and it cooled really good, and I've got it crumbled up, and I got it over here to the side. And now we need to do our Cool Whip. And there's just two little things we're going to do for that. Now... One of the ingredients that I absolutely forgot about when I was showing y'all the ingredients that we needed is you do need some maple syrup, just about a fourth a cup. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. And I'm going to put a fourth cup of pure maple syrup in there. You know with cinnamon and maple syrup, this has got to be the best thing. <laughs> I can remember when my kids was little. I always made desserts or I'd even just make little bowls of pudding and put a little dollop of Cool Whip on top. And they would want just the bowl of Cool Whip and a spoon, please, Mama. They just loved eating the Cool Whip. And, of course, Mama let them. So you just fold the cinnamon and the maple syrup in. It's got a real pretty color to it. Just got a little hint of cinnamon. Just fold it in there good. Don't whip it or nothing like that. Just kind of fold it through. And now we're going to start layering our trifle. We're going to start layering the trifle. The first layer is going to be your spice cake that you crumbled up. I'm going to put a, I make sure you get a big enough glass bowl to punch a uh, trifle dish. So there's the bottom layer. Now your second layer is going to be your pumpkin filling that has your, your pumpkin and your butterscotch pudding in it and all your spices. You just kind of layer it. Just kind of push it around to the edge. It smells so good. 
and just push it around to the edge like this. Okay, you're going to make another layer before we do our cool whip. You're going to make another layer of cake. I love taking spice cake, warm out of the oven, and put a big old dollop of butter on it and just eat it while it's warm. It's so good. Reminds me kind of gingerbread cake like Grandma used to make. Okay, there's another layer of cake. I'm going to put another layer of your pumpkin pudding mix. And I just can't begin to tell you how good the pumpkin and the butterscotch pudding goes together. So good. It's so good. I'm just going to kind of spread this out. You don't have to have your have it too thick. Your your pumpkin and pudding layer don't have to be real thick. It's already making a pretty dish. The the fall colors, the spices, it's so nice. Okay, now I'm gonna put. Pull it. That's your next layer. And just spread it on there. Good. Now you've got enough Cool Whip to make a pretty good layer. I'm doing this with my left hand, so <laughs> I don't do things very well with my left hand. This is such a fall dessert. I can I mean the smell is just wonderful. And when I'm eating pumpkin pie, I have to have a big dollop of whipped cream or cool whip or something on it. I just love it. And when you make a trifle, any kind of trifle, it is a dessert that goes a long ways and it'll serve quite a few people. So that's another good thing about trifles. And like I said, there are so many different kinds. And I'm going to have another recipe coming up for Christmas desserts. Um, I've got a red velvet cake trifle that's so pretty for the table. Okay, now that I've got my Cool Whip on, I'm going to do another layer of cake. Like I said, make sure you have a big enough glass bowl or trifle bowl. So good. So I'm going to make this layer a little bit thicker probably. And I'll have some crumbs left to put on top. So I'm just going to keep a layer. And, you know, your layers don't have to be beautifully even because you want it to look rustic. You want it to look homemade. So we don't have to be too picky over it. Okay. Our next layer is going to be another layer of the pudding. Butterscotch filling. If you have some of your pudding left, be okay. Just put it in some bowls with a little bit of Cool Whip on it and, and eat it later. Or, <laughs> or eat it before Thanksgiving. You can make this one up ahead a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Keep it nice and cold. Cover it up good. Keep it nice and cold. You don't want it, you don't want to do it too far ahead because it's liable to start getting watery or something, so I don't think I'd do it no more than two days ahead. But anything that we can do ahead of time 
just makes it so much more enjoyable for us not to have to be in such a hurry and such a stressful time. It shouldn't be. It should be a time of us getting together with our family and sitting down to such a beautiful meal and sharing and knowing that we love each other and we're so thankful for each other. Nobody's perfect. We all have our good times and our bad times. That's what makes us stronger. It's what makes us a stronger family. So I'm going to get a little bit more on here. Make sure it's got it on there good. Now, I've got just, you know what, I've got just enough just to sprinkle another layer of my cake over that. Just like this. Now the very top is going to be my Cool Whip. Yum. And I'm just going to spread it to the, to the side. How could a person not like a trifle? I make one sometimes, and my son-in-laws love them. It's a, what you do is you take a, a family size, or you can make your homemade brownies, let them cool, crumble them up, and uh, you put a layer of brownies, a layer of chocolate pudding, a layer of toffee bits, a layer of Cool Whip, and you just keep layering until you get to the, and I'm telling you, there ain't none of that left, I, that's for sure. But it's just one of them easy things that you can put together and feeds a lot of people. Put one more dollop. You know that maple syrup in this Cool Whip is going to be delicious. Okay, now to the very top <clears throat> is the fun stuff. I love Heath candy bars, and these are the Heath milk chocolate uh, toffee bits, and they're good in any kind of dessert. So, we're going to top that off. Get you where you can see it. We're going to top this off with Heath bars. And you can't go wrong with this, that's for sure. And it's not going to take a whole bag of Heath bits, so you'll have plenty left over for a whole nother dessert. This is going to be so yummy. You can push a, just a light sprinkle or you can put them thick. I'm thinking that the kids are really going to want that, that toffee in there. So there we go. That is... Your pumpkin butterscotch toffee trifle. And it is a pretty one. It's got pretty layers. It's going to look really good on the dessert table. So let's try it. Look how pretty this is. 
Now I'm going to get me a bite. I'm just going to take off a little bit of the top layer. And I know, I know y'all really want a bite of this. Y'all really want to taste this. But I'm fixing to, and I'm going to tell you how good it is. I've got the cake, I've got the pudding, pie filling, and I've got the Cool Whip. That's so good. It's not, it's not too much of a, you know, too much spices or anything like that. It's just real, it's real good. That's all I can say. You're not going to go wrong with this. I guarantee you. If you have anybody in your family or friends that love anything pumpkin or spice, this is not real stout spicy. But all the flavors just are really... I can taste the maple syrup in that Cool Whip, and it's so delicious. Guys, y'all really have to try this. It'll be the hit of the dessert table, I guarantee you. And it's pretty, too. You don't have to put it in a see-through. You, you put it in any bowl that you have that's big enough. But if you want to see the layers and it be pretty on the dessert table, put it in a trifle bowl, punch bowl, whatever you got. Just any kind of a, a glass see-through. But... This is a beautiful dessert, I can tell you. It's just so good. I can't tell you enough. Well, guys, I hope y'all like this recipe because I give it a really big thumbs up. And if y'all like it and like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There'll be a lot more recipes and gardening and so many things going on on the homestead. Um... I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And I'm going to have a few more recipes for Thanksgiving. I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a very busy woman, but uh, I'm going to try to fit a few more in there. And uh, I'll be making stuff the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving morning. I'm going to try to film it. It'll be a little bit late, but it'll be stuff you might can make for Christmas or something. So, anyways... God bless everybody, and uh, y'all have a, a good weekend and a, a good week. And I'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. This is one of my favorite anymore. Until I make the next dessert, it'll probably be my favorite then. <laughs> it's so good. My kids are going to love it. <laughs>